welcome back to cooking with the cop and babe. I'm babe and Josh is on his way home from work, but I had to get this thing started because it's going to take a long time. So the other day I made short ribs for Josh. It took me about six hours or so. I made them while he was at work. Um, wanted to surprise him with a nice, lovely, romantic dinner. So we posted it on our Instagram page and got so many questions as to how we made it. Um, I decided that I'm gonna show you guys how we made it. So we actually found this online a long time ago from a fellow YouTuber and we've been making it and tweaking it to fit our way ever since. So today, Josh is gonna show you how it tastes when he gets home. But I'm gonna show you what it takes to prepare this dish. It's a lot, it's a labor of love. You need time, you need energy, you need wine in one hand and wine in the other hand and you know, wine in the dish. So come along with me, I'll show you how I did it. And when Josh gets home, you're gonna see how it tastes. I'm super excited, here we go, mwah. Here is your shopping list. Now I have 12 of these short ribs because there are four of us eating tonight and they're so darn good, you don't wanna stop. So I went ahead and I splurged and I bought us each three today. Um, so we have short ribs, beef short ribs. You can get them in your uh, butcher section or you can find them in any meat section, really. They cut these for me today. We need thyme. We need rosemary, fresh, both fresh. Carrots, I'm doing three, um, two big ones, three small ones, you know, whatever. If you want more, add more. You need a whole white onion. You need two stalks of celery. I bought mine pre-cut because I've been busy today. Uh, black pepper, salt. You're gonna need six cloves of garlic, almost a whole bottle of wine. You're gonna use three quarters of that bottle for the food and one quarter for you. Tomato paste, bay leaves, beef stock. Uh, you absolutely need boxed or bagged mashed potatoes. Listen, I'm a fan of homemade mashed potatoes, but these things are so good. <laughs> Josh had me buy them and I was like, why can't I do a homemade mashed potatoes? And he said, no, these are so good. And then I had them and I fell in love and they took like 30 seconds to make. So that's what you need. Get all this stuff. It's not a whole lot of stuff. It's just a lot of work and it's a lot of time. Um, it's gonna all simmer for like three hours. So that's, that's the majority of it there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna chop up my carrots and get everything started and going. Oh, and you're gonna need some flour to dredge the short ribs and a Dutch oven or a big pot. So I'm going to cut my carrots up first. You saw the size of the celery and the onions. I'm just gonna do something similar here. We just wanna cut into little small pieces because they're really gonna reduce down and make, oops, and make your stew, okay? So what we'll do is we'll start by cutting them about a quarter of an inch. And when you get towards the end, you, you know, you can keep those. You don't have to cut those. But with these size pieces right here, we're gonna just turn those into quarters. And we're gonna do that with all three of our carrots. So what I've done is I've salted my short ribs. I've let them set for a little bit. I'm now gonna dry them off and pat any of the extra um, juices out of it. I'm gonna dredge them through the flour and then we're gonna put them in our Dutch oven with a little hot oil and we're gonna brown them. So that is our next step. Come with me. So as they sit for a little bit, the moisture starts to come out. So we wanna get, get that out of there. And then, you know, my least favorite part is when there's blood, of course. And then we're just going to get them all dredged in the flour on all sides. So that it kind of looks like this. And lay them down on the plate. It, like I said, it's really not super hard. It's just a labor of love. Okay, so I'm gonna get all these done and then I will be back. Hi! Are you excited to try this tonight? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be delicious. I hope so. Our next step is going to be putting olive oil in the Dutch oven. 
We're gonna get that get let that get nice and hot. And then we're going to take our flour dredged short ribs and we are going to brown them on all sides. So our next step is going to be to take our short ribs and we're going to put them in the cast iron and we're just gonna brown them on all sides. You could put in about three or four at a time. Don't overload it though. You gotta do them in batches. So now that we have four in there, I wanted to let you know you need to go four minutes on each side and you wanna get all sides. Um, top, bottom, sides, other side, everything. This is what it looks like after my first side is done. So you can see there's a little crisp, a little crunch, but you don't want it to be too much. It's just that perfect brown. And it's making some nice brown bits down there. As you all know, my favorite little ninja chopper is gonna chop up the garlic. Six cloves, just like that, baby. These are beautifully browned. Okay, so we've dumped our hot oil. We have a couple brown bits left in there. I'm gonna add the veggies, a little more oil. We're gonna put in our carrots, our onions, our garlic. And then after we have those going for about four minutes, we're gonna add our tomato paste, three tablespoons of tomato paste. Let's see how I can do this. I got the onions in. Celery next. I'm sorry, since I'm doing it by myself, I'm not gonna be able to show you. Oh, wait, I have a child to help me. Okay, so we're gonna put our carrots in and then we're gonna put our garlic in six cloves of garlic and we're going to let all that go about four to five minutes just to get this stuff, uh, the veggies softened. And that garlic smells so good. Okay, we'll be done. Our veggies are starting to sweat. We kind of want to get them a little bit light brown and then we're going to add three tablespoons here of our tomato paste. This is the brand we like. Okay, so now that they've been going about four minutes and they're slightly browned, I'm gonna go ahead and put my three tablespoons of my tomato paste in. We're gonna mix that all together and let it go for about another three or four minutes until that's all browned again. Now that we've got our three tablespoons of tomato paste in, we're gonna mix it all together Okay, now that we have our tomato paste all married in, we're gonna add some salt and some pepper, probably about a teaspoon and a half of each. And I can't grind the pepper because I don't have two hands to use the pepper. Or I would need four hands, I guess. So I'm gonna put that pepper in. Next up comes our wine. We're gonna put three quarters of a bottle in and we're gonna let that deglaze. So we're gonna we're gonna pour it in and we're gonna let it go down until it's about half of what it starts at. Yep, that looks like three quarters of a bottle. So we're gonna get that all mixed in. So then you're gonna take your beef stock and you're gonna pour it over until these are all covered. I have a lot of them in there, so it's probably gonna take the whole thing. We're gonna use this whole box. I have my rosemary and my thyme here. I'm gonna use some butcher's twine and tie this baby up so that it doesn't get lost. Let's go around twice. And then we're gonna throw it in there. It's like dropping the anchor. Okay. Some bay leaves. We have our oven set at 350, preheated. We're gonna put the lid on, put it in, and let it set for about two and a half to three hours before we even touch it. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I'm putting this in. Josh is home. It's time for him to say hi. I'm home, and Babe's been cooking without me. Babe's been YouTubing without me. <laughs> All day. All day. So, yeah. When we posted an Instagram picture of these short ribs and a, like some boxed mashed potatoes, yeah. the other day people went nuts and they were like, what's the recipe, what's the recipe? So babe, let me see the, the, 
Oh, the mashed I potatoes. Them. Oh, did I you? I told them about <laughs> They're, so good. They're so good. They're How so good. How much you love them. They're so good. Okay, so what? That has to sit there two and a half hours now? Two and a half before we check it. Okay. All right. It's 8.30 p.m. It's late. Our kids are hungry. Are you ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> How does that look? Hear the movie in the background, the kids in the background. This is what happens when dinner is this late. We have our bagged mashed potatoes. It's a box it's, mashed potatoes, babe. Well, it's not boxed, it's bagged, but babe, okay. Those mashed potatoes are so good. I grew up they with really those are, as a kid. <laughs> they are good. I mean, come on. It's 8.30 at night. We are exhausted. Um, I'm gonna, no, I can't do it. <laughs> what do you mean, babe? <laughs> I'm going to put Oh, oh, oh goodness. Ooh, hey baby, how you doing? Oh, man. Oh, you're going to have to clean that up for the thumbnail, babe. I will. Don't you worry, my love. Let's go ahead and grab... Here we go. Those potatoes. Oh, oh it's so good looking. Oh, my gosh. This gravy is like... It is so delicious. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. What do you think? I think you got to clean it up for the thumbnail, but damn, Gina. Yeah. That. Pretty darn good. That looks amazing, babe. I will tell you what, box mashed potatoes, yeah, they're like 99 cents. They are so good. They're so good. Yeah, babe. Yeah. Come here, babe. Yeah. Oh, boy. What do you think? I mean, for the pickiest eater in the world, which is you, it's a thumbs up. Thank goodness. Is it good? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm. What does it taste like? Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll get no, back okay. to you. Well, <laughs> babe, let me give you a bite. No. What do you think? You're well, not the mashed potatoes. What? The mashed potatoes are so good. Hey, let me give you a full bite nope. and see what happens. I mean, this is an incredible dinner. Okay, listen, let's give a real person a try. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Mm. Is it good? You can taste the red wine reduction. Yeah. The, the beef, rosemary is really strong. The rosemary is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, babe, I have to have more. It's the good. beef is like, you don't even need to, you don't even need to, don't even need to chew because it just melts in your mouth with those box mashed potatoes. Oh, the, those my. box mashed potatoes are pretty good. Babe. Mm. Oh, babe. Babe, what kind of YouTube channel are you running with? I don't know. With these kids running around, they're, mm. they're really getting hurt. This meal. Mm. I'm actually really excited. I made it twice in a row now. Don't mind me. It's nine o'clock at night. I'll put that against $80 yeah. short ribs mashed potato dinner. That's good. I'll put that against anybody. Hey, those are like... Mm, yeah, mm. they're pretty darn good. You guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you, guys. That I wasn't even a yeah. part of in the beginning. But well, I'm a part of it at the end. Yeah. Babe, and the crazy yeah. camera angles. I don't even know. I don't even know what, what our channel's become, but... Okay, I'm going to make yeah. myself a little plate. Mm -hmm. All right. It's so good. Mm. Try this. Do the box mashed potatoes because mm. they're just better. Good. Box mashed potatoes. I know. That's the best. My grandma used to do box mashed potatoes. <laughs> and I love them. And we're watching Clueless. Yeah, like it's 1992. I mean, how great does it get? Box mashed, pota mashed potatoes and Clueless. Yeah, babe. Happy as can be. Mm. And this is really good. I don't care what it looks like. <laughs> so good. It's so good. See you guys on the next video. See y'all. So that, that was epic. I know, it's good. All right. Bye.